This video will show the project baselines add-on in action, both on the project task list and also on the Gantt chart. When on the task list, what you're going to want to do when to turn on the project baseline is, first of all, we're going to go to the edit icon up in here and go over to project baselines. The reason why we're going to go here first is we want to make sure that we have baselines even captured on this project. If you don't see the project baselines up in here, then you'll need to go ahead and turn on the add-on, which you can do in the project baselines add-on video. Now that we've got a baseline set, make sure you have the baseline if you have multiple baselines captured on a project. Make sure you have the one that you want to see on the task list or the Gantt chart view set as the current baseline. You can set multiple baselines, but you can only see one in the task list or the Gantt chart view at a time. Now that we've set a baseline, or we make sure that we already have one in there, then we can compare what that baseline was at the time. Looked like that one was back in um, uh, February. What we can do now is add the baseline in to the task list, which is in this checkbox right here in the project display options. Hit refresh. And now I can compare what the project schedule was during that baseline to what the project schedule is now. As you can see, I've got some different um, dates in here. I've got the schedule down as different duration, but maybe the same work hours. So you can compare those two as what they were to what they are now. I can also go to the project views to the Gantt chart view. And I can compare what the project schedule is now if I go back into the display options to show baseline as a separate row. Now I can see what the baseline was as far as the uh, grade lines for what's the, what the duration of the tasks were before to what they are now. What I can also do outside of within the task list and the Gantt chart is I can actually go to reports. I can go to maybe a task report. And on the filtering options for the task report, I can go to the columns. And I can include the columns of name of the task, duration of the task, the work hours of the task, and compare those to what the task was before, the baseline duration, what the baseline end date was, what the baseline work hours were, and I can compare what those were before the project had changed to what the project is now. For more information about the project baseline and how to set it up, please refer to our further video and documentation.